Good evening, I'm Ashley Bornanson, your host for the Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're in Beverly Hills at the 38th Annual Gracie Awards, honoring the most influential women in Hollywood in television and film. How are you? My name is Ashley with the Red Carpet Report. Oh, hi. How are you nice doing to tonight? meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, okay, working for NPR, how do you think women's role in media and television has changed throughout the years? You know, I may not be the best person to ask because NPR has always been a fabulous place for women to work. I've been there for more than 25 years. I've had so many role models to base my career decisions on. It's really been a privilege to work there. So who has been your biggest role model? Oh, there are so many at NPR. And there are names of people that everybody knows. You know, Susan Stamberg and Nina Totenberg. And there are two of my colleagues who are getting awards uh, tonight also, besides me, who couldn't be here, who have done amazing coverage in Syria and you know great risk to their safety Deborah Amos has been with NPR for a long time and she has certainly won also so what do you think the Gracie Awards means to the rest of the country in representing women in television and film well I think maybe the image of women in media has lagged a bit behind the reality perhaps or at least the reality as I know it mm -hmm. at NPR and so this reminds people that um, women are supporting each other and that they're out there doing great work and just a small fraction of it gets recognized. Mm -hmm. I love that and you're being honored tonight. Yes. How does that feel? It's extraordinary. It's <laughs> extraordinary. It's a piece that meant a great deal to me and it's one of the rare stories where there were actually concrete results from it. You know, usually you just say, oh, well, I've raised, and like, you know, I've raised consciousness about this. I've raised awareness about it. But in this case, it had to do with homeless veterans. And after my piece ran, and the New York Times picked it up, and the Los Angeles Times picked it up, they're actually building housing for chronically homeless veterans on the campus of the West Los Angeles Veterans Administration. So that's really amazing to me. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much for talking to Thank us. You. Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Report. If you like this video, be sure to like it. And for more interviews, subscribe. And leave me a comment below telling me which woman inspired you the most. We'll see you next time.